Okay, hi guys, Akumalo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So, <clears throat> not pretty much has changed. Um, this this is uh, this is my my chart, the same chart that I presented yesterday when we had this price action. <clears throat> what happened so far? We had that huge week here, okay, that pierced right to the 618.65%. Okay, uh, let, let me show you guys. This is the, the Fibonacci retracement, assuming that this is a wave one, okay. Assuming that this is a wave one, this might be a leading diag, doesn't matter. It's, it's It looks like a wave one, okay. Here we go. We have the 618.65%, 76 right here, and we pierced through this pierced through the 786, and we had a reaction. <clears throat> the way I see it, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the way I see it is that we are finishing this correction here, this wave two here. This correction that I have been showing you guys is this wave two here, A, B, C, okay? Um, and then we are, uh, this would be a wave two that might be a A, B, C, D, E pattern. So this triangle here, a sideways correction to, uh, to put in a new, uh, a new local high, okay? This would be like seven, eight hundred. Um, 7k perhaps 7k would be the last target here but I don't think we're gonna get there that would be 618.65% of a wave 2 okay. it's it's normal for Bitcoin and for other assets to take a long time to take a lot of time in waves 2 okay. it's normal and it's normal to retrace 786 as I have been saying when we have a sideways correction, we kind of retraced the price in one in one uh, in one swoop like this in one big drop. We we retraced like seven eight six. We retraced most of the price, and then we retrace in time. We kind of go sideways. This happened before, right? And this is gonna happen all the time. <clears throat> Sorry, the way I'm counting it, we have a A B here, a C. That's now happening. It might not. It might be going on. It might not have finished yet. But <clears throat> this is our C. Then we would have a D. Then an E. Perhaps an E. And we might have breakouts right through here to this D wave and go to this third wave. Okay. Then we have the fourth here. It's this. Those targets here are based on the algo targets that I have here. 100% of the fib, fib extension A, B, we have 100 here. I would assume third wave here. With, together with the minus 33, 60% of the algo target. So it's a confluence. Here we have another confluence, minus 38, 20%, 50% of the wave A retracement. Another confluence here, another box. 127, 20%, 127%, 20 of the extension AB. We have it here. And we have the minus 618 algo target here. Okay, and we have another confluence here. So it will be like 6,800. Okay? <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, talking about market acceptance, uh, we, of course we have a lot of market acceptance here. Um, if it goes like here, breaks like uh, to seven to three hundred we won't have a lot of market acceptance we would jump right to six one eight here you see where we have market acceptance this could be our first wave one of this third here okay or perhaps we stop a little bit earlier i don't know because we don't have market acceptance here okay so minus 36 percent a little bit of uh market acceptance not a lot of market acceptance here so we would just uh perhaps we might just get through it and get to the minus 618 okay this would be our last algo target for this movement for this retracement here okay um 
and that would be the first wave of this wave three okay wave three wave four wave five we would finish this wave two here okay it is in the bear's best interest guys to have a a, a, a higher price okay i have been telling you guys this it's in the best interest to have a, a, a to put in a new local high to to dump okay because this is gonna be wave two this is the psychology behind elliot waves it's in the best interest it's in the bear's best interest to have a, a higher price to sell that's why the, uh, that's why i believe that the market is gonna put in a new high here and then we're gonna drop Okay, then we're gonna have this wave three here. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, this would be 4,200, 3,600. This is uh, this seems a lot. This the, those targets here is they they seem a, a far fetched. Uh, like, come on, this is impossible. Yes, it might be impossible indeed. It's, it, this is a, a hypothesis okay not only me have been talking about it but other analysts but we are based on what on our world targets and on fib extensions <clears throat> this might not those our world targets here might be unfulfilled okay we, may, we might never get to those levels here but i need to present you guys this situation okay what what the price section is showing me especially when we have such a poignant one two three four five here okay without even thinking about um the whole picture when we have such a one two three four five we have a this drop like here see what what we would expect is some kind of retracement right that that's that's the basic thing okay if it starts here at the b or if it starts right here when we start dropping okay you come here let me take this out and you have get your fib retracement from the top of this pivot high here to this bottom here okay where do we get yes perfect see <clears throat> this is so amazing 50% uh, exactly where we stop it the wave one where I'm calling wave one okay so we have some targets here don't for minus 33 60 percent minus 38 20 percent minus 6.8 we have some algos here okay we have some algos here <clears throat> from this movement here going down but i believe that's in the best interest to, to to get one more wave up okay but we have here the 50 percent and done we nail it and we might go down okay so it's not impossible that this count gets invalidated. This is the stop loss here, okay? That's why I'm saying, oh, by the way, I'm gonna move this stop loss a bit higher to this point here where we ended this wave here, A, right, which I'm calling wave A. Why? Because if we go below this A wave, it's exactly the same thing, okay? We won't have this triangle, we won't have this flat, and that would invalidate the count so that's how i move my stop loss and how i keep myself out of trouble if i it's how i keep my 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 positions safe okay so uh let me remove it and let me get the fibonacci retracement from this low here to this high to this one so here it's what we have okay um so we are kind of uh, putting in this one, two, three, four, four, A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Oh, let, let, let me let me show you guys one thing here. I'm sorry. Let me use a pitchfork from this bottom here to this top here, and let's see. This is uh, this is the A wave. Let me check it. Not shift. Okay. Hmm. Shift. Let let me see the original no the original nope let me see the sh modified shift yes uh, that's it okay you guys see it the median line here the pitchfork has act as a 
a resistance or it's either a resistance or support okay so here we have the median line we are now touching this line here which is let me show you guys this line here is the median where, 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 where is it i'm sorry let me check it again where are those oh i'm so pardon me is a this is um let me put this one as well this is the 1618 and 0605 okay we have this region here okay 1618 165 the, the going zone okay we are touching it and we have a retracement we haven't break the pitchfork so another uh, another data here that we might consider is that we have this pitchfork okay that that has that is that might contain this movement wave three might break this this pitchfork or we might have a different pitchfork for this movement going up if we if we change it to a shift no not, not a shift sorry but uh, to a modified no no original uh, well you would have like this the problem is that we would uh, touch the we would be touching the final line here this this is the one oh um this is the 1.5 okay this would be the last stop for for us here would have some some uh, <clears throat> two three weeks trying to pierce it and it would have a reaction this is kind of nice this is the original sh the original pitchfork would have the target here that would happen on the 21th okay if we consider this pitchfork if this is really actually what's happening we would need to go and you see here what i said that it would have the first target it would be like here so let's use the fibonacci retracement again sorry <clears throat> from this bottom here to the stop okay here here we would have uh, the first target minus 6.8 okay marked acceptance here a lot so who knows right this would happen when this would happen tomorrow right I don't know it might happen this would this would imply a breakout of d yes so uh, i'm i'm more inclined to use not the original pitchfork but shift okay and uh, just for one reason because i think it's gonna be a sideways more of a sideways uh, movement and then we would have a burst a surge in price for this third wave here remains to be seen guys remains to be seen um however um however whatever happens we have this stop loss here guys if we have uh if we, if we break this this triangle shape here and break this line here where it is the the a wave here this is invalidated okay this is so, so safe and we have a lot of market acceptance here you see but if you break it we would go down not a lot of market acceptance here and it would go down like hell okay that would be a different story so far what we have is this picture here guys i'm sticking with it that's it um so i think that this is it that that's it okay thanks for watching this is my update and if you like it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you haven't followed me on twitter please <clears throat> consider doing so and uh you have my you have our server our crypto trader educational institute you have the link down below in the description Join us. We have plenty of information there. It would be sweet. Thank you very much. And I see you guys later. Cheers. Have good trades. And always enjoy your trades, guys. Bye-bye.